This is a beginner level tutorial and I'll show you how to set up and use displacement in Arnold using grayscale images and noise to make some complex models without having to model. It's really fast and really easy. I have a scene here with my studio background, an Arnold Sky Dome light with an HDRI, a quad light, and a plane with width and height segments at their default value of 10 by 10. I created an Arnold standard surface and I set the color to blue. I'll go ahead and press render and you'll see it's just a blue plane on a white background. Now to add displacement to the plane, we need to add more geometry to the plane. The more geometry you have, the more detail you will get. I'll go ahead and select my plane, right mouse click, C4D to A tags, and add an Arnold parameters tag. Make sure your Arnold parameter tag is selected, come to subdivisions, and choose Cat Clark. Cat Clark is used to create smooth surfaces. If we look at the Arnold docs, we can see how each type will affect your geometry. Now choose iterations. I'm gonna enter a number of seven. This is the number of times your geometry will be subdivided. Remember, the higher the number, the more detail you'll get from your subdivision, but also the longer the render times. Next, choose displacement. And our plane's 157 inches, so I'm gonna set my height to 12 inches. And this is how far or how high the geometry be pushed up or down. Double click the shader we created. Click open network editor. And I'm going to use a noise node. Use Cinema 4D noise. Under my noise type, I'm going to choose cell noise. You can choose any of these. And just drag the output to the Arnold displacement. Close this. And just click render. change my noise type so you can see what kind of variations we get by just changing the noise type and the noise scale. Next, I'll show you how to use an image to make this sci-fi model. Here's the image I'll be using for the displacement. You can make these yourself, or I used a program called JS Placement from windmillart.net. This program is free, and if you like, you can make a donation. This program allows you to generate very detailed 8K displacement maps like the one I'm using. In this scene, I have the same setup as before. I have a sky dome light, a studio object, an overhead quad light, and now a sphere instead of a plane. My sphere has a radius of 75 inches, and I have segments set to 50. Just like the plane, I'm gonna go ahead and add a Arnold parameter tag. Under the type, Cat Clark. Turn the iterations up to seven again. Displacement, I'm gonna do 12. So now we're gonna go ahead and create a new Arnold standard surface. Add that to our sphere. Open up the network editor. And instead of a noise, we're going to use an image. Choose the map that I generated. And just drag the output to the Arnold displacement like we did before and click render. Mm -hmm. 